This familiarisation video has been developed to help trained operators of powered access equipment understand the general safety and operating features of this machine. While every effort is made to ensure the information provided is accurate and up to date, Nationwide Platforms accepts no liability for reliance on the contents of this video, which has been produced for guidance only. It is not intended to replace the manufacturer's manual. This machine is an IPATH Category 3A Mobile Elevating Work Platform, or MUP for short. If you do not hold this category license, then you should consult your employer. Operator Responsibilities Before using the machine, please ensure that the machine has an up-to-date thorough examination. It is a mandatory requirement that a pre-use check is completed. This should include a full function check of all the controls, including the emergency lowering controls. Please refer to the machine warning decals and operator's manual before use. Ground controls. The engine and lift functions can be operated from the ground control panel, while the emergency stop can be found close by. To start the engine, unlock and pull out the emergency stop, before pressing the green engine button until the engine starts. You can now operate the lift and lower functions. Pressing the red button will stop the engine. Visual and audible warnings are activated when the relevant functions are operated. To operate the machine from the platform, the lower external emergency stop needs to be pulled out. Enter the platform, pull out the emergency stop and then hold the starter switch until the engine starts. Once the machine is running, you are now able to operate the desired function. To raise or lower the platform, press and hold the lift and lower switch in the desired direction. Drive controls. The forward reverse controller incorporates an enable trigger and a left and right steering rocker switch. Move the controller in the required direction. Depending on the position of the control box and orientation of the platform, the machine may move in unexpected directions when the drive and steer functions are activated. This machine is fitted with a four-wheel drive high-torque drive system. To operate, select the drive option to toggle between high-speed drive and high-torque drive. These options will be cancelled out should the scissor lift be elevated, reducing the drive speed to the elevated drive speed. The driving and steering functions are automatically disabled when the platform is at a height of more than 8 meters. To continue to use the machine above this height, you must first lower the outriggers. The driving and steering functions can only be activated again once the platform has been fully lowered and the outriggers have been retracted. Outriggers the machine is fitted out with outriggers. These are for leveling and stabilizing the machine. Before deploying or retracting the outriggers, visually check that the area around each outrigger is clear of personnel and material. The supplied outrigger pads should be used. This machine is fitted with self-leveling outriggers and should only be activated using the function buttons on the platform controller. The outrigger deploy retract switch operates the outrigger jacks at both the front and the rear of the machine. The scissor lift will be automatically leveled if the switch is kept pressed down. This is indicated by the flashing automatic leveling light. Keep the switch pressed until the light is lit continuously. The scissor lift will then be level. Oscillating axle. The scissor lift has an oscillating axle. This makes it possible to drive on uneven ground when fully lowered, while maintaining maximum traction. If the oscillating axle is in an unlevel position, and the platform is at a height of more than 4 meters, all the driving functions will be automatically disabled. The fault indication light on the control box will also flash. To return the oscillating axle to the horizontal position, the scissor lift must be moved to a flatter surface, and the platform must be at a height of less than 4 meters. Extendable decks. 
the decks can be extended or retracted by operating the deck extend retract switch in the required direction. Overload warning. The machine is fitted with an overload protection device that will sound an alarm and display a warning light when the safe working load is exceeded. All of the scissor lift's movement functions will be deactivated if the platform weight limit is exceeded. Remove the excess weight from the platform until the light goes off. For additional information, refer to the safe working load decal, the operator's manual or the manufacturer's data plate. Tilt alarm. This machine is fitted with an alarm, which will sound only when the machine is operating on a slope. Do not depend on the tilt alarm as a level indicator. If the tilt alarm sounds when the platform is raised, use extreme caution to lower the platform. Once fully stowed, move the machine to a firm, level surface before raising the platform again. Emergency lowering. In the unlikely event of complete power failure, the manual descent valve can be used to lower the platform. This can be activated by pulling the button on the valve. Please consult the operator's manual for more information on how to locate and operate the manual descent valve. Alternatively, contact Nationwide Platform's technical support team. If the platform is extended and preventing it from being lowered, it can be retracted using the hand pump in the valve box. All emergency lowering plans can be viewed and downloaded from nationwideplatforms.co.uk or scan the QR code on the machine. Securing the machine At the end of use, retract the extension deck and lower the platform. Park the machine in a secure designated location. Push the ground emergency stop button in and remove the key. Finally, turn the main insulator off. Lifting and point loading. For the machine unladen weight, point loading, and use of the designated lifting points, please refer to the manufacturer's information plate and operator's manual. Alternatively, contact Nationwide Platforms. Thank you for watching this familiarization video. For technical support, please contact 0845 745 0000 and select option 2. Please ensure you have your machine serial number and e-code to hand when calling. These can be found on the Nationwide Platform's data plate which is fitted to your machine. For iPath training, please select option 1 or book online at nationwideplatforms.co.uk forward slash training.